Infrastructure as code is one of the skills the top people in the cloud have truly mastered. And you probably think that means writing something amazingly complex like this, but I hate to break it to you. This is actually what some of the best production code really looks like. This is using a function in Azure Bicep called modules. And a module lets you take multiple templates and nest them into a single deployment, allowing you to be more dynamic and scalable. Take this template, for example. It's gonna build a virtual network with a couple subnets. Copy these parameters at the top, because we'll need those in a second. And then over here, you wanna create a new bicep file, and let's just call it main, and also create a folder called modules. Then drag the VNet file into the modules folder, and let's open your main bicep file and paste your parameters at the top. In the resource section, type the word module. Then you wanna give it a symbolic name like VNet, and now you need to tell Bicep where the VNet template is located. So put in some single quotes and then press control space to activate IntelliSense. And it's gonna help write a lot of this code for us. Select the modules folder and then the Bicep file. And at the end of that line, you wanna put in an equals and a curly bracket. Then go to a new line, press control space once again. And these are our different options that we need for the module. Let's start with the name. This is gonna be what the name of the deployment of this template actually is. So we'll just keep it simple and call it VNet. And now we need to tell the module what input parameters that VNet template requires. And the easiest thing to do is activate IntelliSense once again, because it's already looked at the VNet template and knows what those parameters are. So you just select them and then give them either a static value or use some parameterization just like that. Now deploying modules through VS Code is simplest if we use a parameters file. So right click on the main bicep file and choose generate parameters. Select the bicep option and then do this for all parameters. Then open that file and just fill in the answers. Then you wanna right click on the main once again and choose deploy to Azure. And at the top here, we can see the deployment name and you can change it if you want or just press enter then select the subscription that you wanna to deploy to, as well as the resource group, and select your parameters file. Now just jump over to the Azure portal and go to your resource group, and there in a few seconds, you'll see your VNet and the subnets are inside it. But there's actually something more interesting if we jump back to the resource group and take a look at the deployment blade. We've actually performed two different deployments. We have the one here for the main bicep file, and then we have the VNet file. So open the main file, and then over on the left, go to your inputs, and these values were the ones that came out of your parameters file. But if you go back and look at the VNet deployment and check out those inputs, these actually came from the main template of the VNet module. And if you go to the outputs here, you see that the VNet template actually did some outputs of the subnets that it created, so we can use those IDs for the next module. Speaking of the next module, let's create another one, and this will be to deploy all of these virtual desktop resources. Just copy all that stuff, create a new file called Azure Core.Bicep, open it up and paste in the resources section. And now we need some input parameters for all of these AVD resources. So let's pick something simple like their names. And just remember, of course, to update the individual resources with those parameter names. Then we want to scroll down to the bottom. And in this output section, this is where we're going to gather information from this template and then send it back to the main file so some other module can take advantage of it. And in particular, the AVD session hosts, in order to join your pool, are going to need to know the host pool name and the pool's registration token. Now, writing an output is basically just like writing a parameter. Start with the word output and then give it a symbolic name and we need a type. And this one in particular will be a string. And at the end of that line, put in the equals and then just activate IntelliSense and select the host pool's symbolic name. But now we've actually got a little bit of a problem. But Bicep actually isn't happy because right now we're telling it to output the entire resource, which is dozens of lines of code. And we told Bicep earlier that this thing should be a string. 
So to fix this, we need to use the dot select method and then just pick one of the properties, post pool name, just like that. And then we need to repeat this for the token value. And with this template all set up, jump back to the main and let's create that new module and we'll call it AVD core. Then just pick the folder and the template file. On the next line, give it a deployment name and then in the parameters section, use IntelliSense and add in all of the input parameters and give them all values. So let's take advantage of the outputs that we just created. Now here's another template to build all the AVD hosts. And here's what the module looks like. And we've got three different values that need to come from the outputs of our other modules. So just do control space to activate IntelliSense and notice that the icons here are different. These represent the parameters, but these represent the symbolic name of the other modules. And since the host pools were created in AVD core, select that one, then type a period and select outputs and then type another period and select host pool name. Then do that again for the subnet, which comes from the VNet template, IntelliSense, then do the dot outputs and dot select the value that you need and repeat again for the registration token. Now you want to generate a new parameters file because we've got a whole lot more parameters to pick from and then kick off a new deployment. Back in the Azure portal in the resource group, go to the deployments blade and you've got your original main deployment as well as the VNet template along with the new AVD core and host deployments. So open AVD core and then go to the outputs and there's our host pool name and the registration token. So jump back and go to the AVD host deployment and look at the inputs. And there they are, including the subnet. Now with modules, you can layer absolutely anything that you need. And in my solution here, I've added other bicep files for Azure Bastion and Firewall and a key vault. And in the main bicep deployment file, here's the particular modules for them. And that's how modules can help cloud engineers take a single template like this and turn it into a solution like this. But it does take more than technical genius to be a cloud engineer. So you're gonna wanna watch this video because it explains all of the non-technical things. And happy learning.